Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen and everyone watching. This is Running On Empty Food Review, and I am your host, the Report of the Week. We're gonna get the camera into focus here because this is, I mean, this is insane. I've never seen anything like this. So I have to break the news to you right this minute. Pizza Hut has changed the recipe for their pan pizza. For the first time in 40 years, Pizza Hut changed the recipe. And a large percentage of the population, I think it's around 62%, doesn't know how to process this. Some people, as soon as the news broke, some people are still in a trance-like state just staring at it for days. People do not know how to digest this in the figurative sense. And I mean, look, I went over there today, because I, I mean, I couldn't believe this either. I needed to check this out. I needed to see for myself, okay, is this new pan pizza from Pizza Hut any good? How does it hold up to the old one? Is there even a difference? You know, we're going to find this out. But when I went over to Pizza Hut today, it was a sight to see. And I, I, I kid you not, I go over there, right? And for the first time ever, go to the parking lot. You know, this is like one of those, uh, not, it's not a sit-down one, it's just for takeaway. And there's this car in the middle of the road, completely empty. Someone just parked it in the middle there, abandoned it. I guess they were just in such a frenzy to try this out, they literally just abandoned their car and went in. I, I, I it was insane, honestly. Anyway, all right, with the, with the most exaggerated intro in the world out of the, out there now. What's the big change? Why, why did they change it? What's the big deal? Apparently, they've been uh, devising this new recipe for the last three years. And uh, people were just saying, you know, I'm, I'm just not a fan of the quality. I want to see it upgraded, and, you know, so on and so forth. So at least they're being good. They're listening to what you have to say, and they're maybe doing something about it. Here's what the new pan pizza has. They changed the pan that it is constructed in. And now it apparently has this specially formulated pan that allows there to be a golden brown crispy buttery crust so you're gonna maybe see some improvements with the crust they have a new cheese blend uh, they're making some adjustments with the sauce and they're saying that it is supposed to be uh, more fluffy uh, more flavorful a little more buttery price for this special deal going on seven dollars 99 cents for a large two topping pizza now, as I was doing the research for this, someone actually said that it tastes like a, uh, a fluffy mattress. Uh, now, I've never eaten a mattress yet, but we're going to see how that holds up. So, first and foremost, now we'll get rid of this focus here. There we go. And, uh, I mean, let's take a look at it. Let's see what we have. So, here it is. The new pan pizza from Pizza Hut. Right there. You might be saying, review bro, what, uh, what is that green stuff on the pizza? Well, that's pepperoni. And the green stuff, you might have thought, review bro, did you take one of your ties and slice it up and drizzle it on the pizza for extra flavor? No, I actually got a two-topping pizza to take advantage of the meal deal, and I got it with pepperoni and spinach, believe it or not. That's what I go with. I actually get this a lot. I just, usually for the reviews, I go with the standard pepperoni pizza, but, eh, changing it up. You can see over our shoulder there, there's a plant, a friendly plant, saying hello. So that's what it looks like. Let's grab a slice. I can't really see too much of a difference just in the way that it looks, but I mean, who knows? You, you can't judge a book by its cover, you know? As I was taking this back... It did smell a little different, believe it or not. It smelled a little uh, fresher, to be honest. It's kind of an odd thing to say, but it's what I noticed. That's what it looks like. Looks like the toppings are a little more spaced out. Uh, but either way, that's what it looks like. And we know what it smells like. And we know what it has on it. So I'm going to try it out, and I'm going to let you know what it tastes like. The new and perhaps improved pan pizza from Pizza Hut going in.
Sometimes I even remain an enigma to myself. I don't even know why I did that with the camera. Why did I focus it like that, only to then unfocus it? I don't know. There's a cross-section of it for you. That noise is just my ears. Who is it that they do this? Is that how it is? There we go. So what do I notice? Here's the big thing that I notice about this pizza. It's a lot more on the, I guess, fluffy side is the best way to put it. Like, one thing that I've noticed, and to me this kind of has a few good qualities and bad qualities. Like, sometimes you get these items and it's like, oh, it's improved for the better, it's the best thing I've ever eaten now, I, I you know, I, I eat this 20 times a day so on and so forth, and a certain number to your liking. And sometimes it like, it, it's like, oh, I hate this, I hate this change that they made, I hate it, I despise it, and uh, you know the way it goes. This has a little bit of good and a little bit of bad. All right, here's the good. When you get a pan pizza, you expect it to be more on the doughy side, you expect it to be on that chewier side, you know? And it is. Uh, from my observations, anyway, it's less airy, okay? You know, like, the last one had lots of air pockets in it. Lots of, um... You know, it just seemed like you were eating a lot of air, best way to put it. This still has this fluffiness, but it seems like there's more dough to it. A little more on the chewier side. And, uh... Very soft, you know? Has just this soft, chewy, not really crispy. That's the one problem that I have. The last time that I got this regular pan pizza, before this change... The bottom of the pizza had this little bit of a bake on it. It had a little more of a pronounced bake on the crust. This, on the other hand, seems to be just not undercooked, because it's cooked okay, but it's just a lot softer. It's, it's missing that crunch. That's my complaint. You know, it's really soft. It's chewy. Uh, the cheese is actually nice. The cheese blend is more flavorful, and I like the way the sauce is, too. Big improvement with the sauce and the cheese. Toppings are fine. So, I think from the topping perspective, because they changed the cheese blend and the sauce ratio, they did excellent with that, if you ask me. A uh, really big improvement. It tastes great. Really fresh, flavorful. I mean, that, that stands out. So, I think that's a really positive change. My one issue is just the texture of it. Again, I wish it had that little bit of a crisp to it, you know? It could have that chewiness to it. It can be soft, you know, that, there's nothing wrong with that. But the one issue that I have is I wish there was that just little bit of crisp that crispness to it, to kind of offset it, so it's not in excess, you know? That's my one issue with it. Uh, otherwise, the crust, it, what am I trying to say? The crust is buttery, uh, you know, it is. What did they describe it as? Being a, uh, well, it's a buttery crust. Not as crispy as I would have liked to see it. I guess that goes for the entire pizza, but it is buttery. So it has a couple issues, really just the fact that I wish it did have a little bit more of that crispiness to it. 
Uh, but otherwise, toppings are much better. The crust, the crust is buttery, and uh, otherwise it seems to be, you know, an okay improvement. Uh, definitely more flavorful than the original, and we're just gonna have to see how it changes with time. $7.99, though, it's a good deal, good price. Recommend you check it out and uh, try it, because it's a good, you know, it's a good meal deal. So uh, get it while the getting's good. And uh, otherwise, out of 10, what am I going to be rating the new and improved pan pizza? I'm gonna give it a 7.0 out of 10, because really big improvement with the toppings, and uh, the crust is pretty good too. But the one issue, like I said, just texturally is a little lacking. That's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and today we were trying out the new pan pizza from Pizza Hut. Thank you and do take care. I'll see you again in a couple days.